Good morning, Mrs. Jones. Good morning. When's that landlord going to put in that window of yours? Never, I should think. What's more, I just had notice to quit. Go on. What for? Because someone is going to pay them more money than I can afford to pay. That's why. I've been in this house for seven solid years, all through the Blitz and everything, handing out twelve and six a week regular. And just because some war profiteer can pay an extra half crown, I'm out. You're not going to let him get away with that, are you? I don't know yet. But I'm jolly well going to see what I can do about it. Suppose we all have our problems, but these ruddy forms. Now then, section B. Section B. Section... Ah, oh, section B. C, note one. Now, where the is note one? Look at your trousers. Look at your shirt. Just look at yourself. That boy Jimmy called me a dirty pig. So? I had to fight him to show I wasn't. Look at you. Don't you know soap's rationed? I am going to keep on washing for you. I don't know what I'm going to do. Now get inside. Get inside, and if I catch out with that boy again, I'll give you a good smack. You know, Millie, I don't like leaving you like this. Don't worry, George. Lots of women have babies. Now I'll get that extra allowance through as soon as I can. They'll send you some papers to fill in. You think you can manage? The thing I'm worried about is clothes. This is my last ball of wool. You can get extra coupons, I know. I wonder how you go about it. Before reading note seven, turn to subsection F. Subsection F, subsection F. Son? Mm, I expect you'll miss him. The only one? No, I have another one away. I don't know what I shall do without Jim, though. He was always such a good boy with his money. But surely you'll get your army allowance. Allowance? Oh, no, that's only for wives. No, no. If you're a dependent... Really? You'd better look into that, lady. Oh, thank you. Have these rooms been included in your answer to question five in section A? Oh! Hello, Joan. Hello. Here we're getting married next week. Excited? Not much. No fun getting married these days. Got to choose between clothes and curtains. Not enough coupons for both. What's the good of trying to give a wedding breakfast out of your food ration? Oh, but there are special allowances for weddings. Surely you ought to find out. What I want to know is, what happens if they don't lay? If who don't lay? My hens. You see, now that I keep hens, I lose me aggression. And suppose they don't lie. Citizen's advice, Fioro. Yes, certainly I can give you advice about your poultry. <laughs> well, hens usually do, you know. There's probably a poultry club in your district. But if there isn't, get on to the Domestic Poultry Keepers Council and they'll help you get one formed. Yes, that's right. Just a moment, please. Can I help? Yes. We came about extra clothing coupons for my wife. Oh, yes. Well, that's over there. Thank you. In that way, you can pull your idea. I wish I could help you, but I'm afraid we can't do anything about extra clothing coupons, even though you are to be a bride. I'm afraid it's either curtains or that new two-piece. But I'm sure you understand. Still, cheer up. You can have a party. Go along to the food office. I'll give you the address. And there they got a permit for extra allowances of food for the wedding breakfast. Thank you. The best of luck. I'm a clerk in the civil service and I work in Whitehall. But I'm hanged if I'd make head or tail of this, or this, or this. Now, can you help me? No. No? No. But he can. He loves them. Thank you. You're my friend for life, you can do these, but I doubt it. I expect we'll manage. Life's hard enough without having to move at my age. Oh, come, it's not as bad as that. Perhaps he can't turn you out. Is the house controlled? 
My language won't be controlled if I have to quit. If you're paying a pre-war rent, and that's controlled by law, mm -hmm. you stand a better chance of fighting the case. Just as well. We have a poor man's lawyer who comes here every Tuesday and Friday. And I suggest you come back on Tuesday and we'll get him to go into the matter and perhaps you won't have to leave your home. And when he was at home, how much did your son contribute? 30 shillings a week. And you're not working? No, no, I just keep the home going. My husband was killed in the last war. I don't think you'll have any trouble. This is what you must do. First, uh, tell your son to see his CO and get a dependence allowance form. A dependence allowance form. And then you'll have to answer a few questions. If you have any difficulty, there's a body in your district who'll help you. The Soldiers, Sailors and Airmen's Families Association. It's such a relief to talk to someone about these matters. I know. While your son's away, do call in. If I can be of any help, I shall be so glad. Thank you. Help you with soap rationing. Yes, that's a problem for all of us these days. I've got four children to wash for. Then there's my husband. He's in munitions. It all takes soap. Soap? That's what I came to see you about. Hello, Mrs. Lane. You've got your washing problems, too. I should say. Oh, that lad of mine. I have an idea. Now, you two know each other. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're neighbours. Then why don't you do your washing together? How do you mean? Well, one week at your place, the next week at hers. Or better still, rope in two or three neighbours as well. And in that way, you'd save soap and fuel, and I think you'd enjoy yourselves. Well, if you're willing. I'm willing, all right. It'll half the work if we do it together. That's grand. Goodbye. 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 What kind of soap do you use? Whatever I can get my hands on. My old man's shirt, and if he's home from work, it is a disgrace. You never saw anything like that. Well, we've answered a lot of problems today. I feel like a quiz machine. That reminds me, I have a problem of my own. I must fill up my fuel application form or I shan't get any coal. Oh, I haven't done mine yet. Now, there's one point. Mr. Davis, mm -hmm. you understand these things. We're growing tomatoes in the hothouse and I want coke for the boiler. Now, should I apply for that under item 13 here of section B, where it says fuel for exceptional domestic purposes? Well, it all depends. Are you growing them for your own use or to sell? Oh, we shall sell some. If the black fly don't get them. <laughs> 